Lindsay, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day three of hair week. Today I'm going to show you guys probably my favorite method when it comes to trying to achieve a natural looking wig. So today is for all of you who struggle with making a part look natural on a wig. Those of you who don't like the gluing method, don't like bleaching knots, you're not into any of that. It's not your cup of tea. So I'm going to show you guys how to have your own natural part out with the wig so that it looks like it's your natural hair, but it's not, girl, it's all a lie. Say your hair is really dirty and you don't feel like washing all your hair because you don't want all your hair out. So you could just wash that little front part, the leave out, slap this on, blow dry it, style that, and you're good to go. This is actually the technique I used when I went to the BET Awards. It was a different unit, but same same thing. That's what I did. I literally woke up at like 7 a.m. and was like, I'm gonna make a U-part wig. And that's what I did. Now, although this method does look a lot more natural, it does take a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, especially if you have never sewn with uh, clips and needles and threads and wigs before. If you watched my how to make your own clip and extension video, we're doing a similar method to that, except we're moving it on to wigs. So if you guys wanna know how to achieve this look, how to achieve a natural looking wig, just keep on watching. Today's unit is from the one and only bestlacewigs.com. This hair is so freaking soft, and I know I say that about a lot of units, but I don't think I've ever tried any hair that is as soft as this one. It's a 360 uh, lace wig, I believe. Yeah, 360 lace wig, 20 inches, 180% density, and it said it was a silky straight texture, but it came a little bit wavy. Um, I'm cool with that, I don't really mind. This hairline is honestly to die for. Do y'all see this? Look, they put so much precision in this wig. This hair is beautiful. The weight of it is beautiful. I love everything about it, even though I did trim it a little bit at the end. This hair is perfect, honestly. So what I first started off doing was putting it on my mannequin head and I just made a middle part, as you can see, down the middle. And all we're gonna do is cut that. We're just gonna cut on that part and it's gonna make kind of like a V shape. So I'm just taking my scissors and cutting right down that line, just as I said. And so as you can see here, it is now in the shape of a V. So it's not really a U part wig because those are in a U shape. This is more in a V shape. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be needing these little baby hairs today. So I am cutting around the front of the wig as well, just to make these, like both sides of it curve. So as you can see, the tip of the V is still a point, but then the two top sections are curved a little bit. We are gonna be using the same small wig clips that I used in my clip and extension video. These are from Sally Beauty. I think they're like six dollars a pack you're also going to need some thread this one doesn't have that like shiny coating on top so it's pretty rough and durable and then you're also going to need a c needle you can also pick this up at sally's so for the clip placement i am going to be sewing on four clips two at the top and then two at the back i guess you can say you can clip one on the back point as well if you want to but i'm not going to today so you want to make sure that the clip is right side up you don't want to sew the clip upside down because then you'll have some problems trying to clip it into your hair and then we're going to get to sewing so i did thread the needle and tie a knot at the end i'm going to start with this top right hole on the clip i'm sticking the needle through there and through the wig cap itself and pulling that all the way through once it's pulled all the way, you will get some hairs that might try and get caught up in there. Just pull them out, it's fine. <laughs> Once you've pulled that thread through, we're now going into the bottom right hole, it's on that same side, and just stick the needle through there, through the wig cap, or the wig lace cap, lace cap, <laughs> and you're just gonna pull that through as well. Again, some hair tried to get caught up in there, I'm sorry, but if it happens, just pull it through. And then this could be a little tricky. I'm not sure if I filmed it really well for you guys, but we're crossing over and we're gonna go to that bottom left hole, but you want the thread to be under the teeth. So I do have the clip open when I'm sewing it so I can pull that thread under the teeth. Sorry if it's a little difficult to see, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. So just pull it through and make sure the thread that's like coming across is underneath the teeth. Once you've pulled it through there, we are going to pull it through the top left hole, stick that through the hair, stick it through the net, whatever you wanna call it, and pull that and then I double it up. I go through that top hole again just to make sure that the clip is super secure and not going anywhere. Once you've done that, once it's super secure, you can just cut that thread and tie a knot. I think I tied about three knots 
two is enough, but <laughs> if you want to do three, I did three knots. And then don't forget to cut that excess thread off. So as you can see, I do have four clips sewn in right here, and it is time to put it on my head. So here is the little U part section that I sectioned off. I realize now I probably should have parted it in a V because that's what the wig is cut into. The rest of my hair I just tied into a little low bun. So I just went ahead and wiggled that wig on and then as you can see we've got our leave out at the top sectioned off and then we've got the four clips around it. So you really just want to use the four clips and clip that to the section that's making up the bun. I like starting with the back clips first to make sure those are in place before the front ones um, and you can even have some of your like hairline out too because as you can see it doesn't fully reach that makes it look even more natural actually but yeah so that's the process it's actually super easy once you've got all of that clipped in you can now let your leave out be free mine needs to be straightened and whatnot because we are looking a mess girl so as you can see that is your natural part that's going to be out so you don't have to worry about using concealer or glue or anything to try and make that part look natural because it is girl so i did go ahead and add a few curls i will say this hair doesn't hold curls the best maybe because it's super new maybe it needs to be washed a few times before it holds a good curl but I do like it that is the final look so I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope this was helpful let me know what you think in the comment section below I will have all of best lace wigs info in the description box so be sure to check that out if you're new here don't forget to press that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video bye y'all